Welcome to the latest in our leadership series. Today, Bank of Middle East is joined by Ahmed Al Faifi, the SVP and MD for SAP Middle East North. So to begin with, I'd like to talk a little bit about Saudi Arabia's transformation programs and how you see SAP's role within that. Yeah, thank you very much for, for hosting me. Um, uh, Saudi transformation uh, started a couple of years ago. So when uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman uh, took over the overall economy, let us say, uh, responsibility, and then they came with Fijian 2030, and then later on with strategies to make this Fijian happen. And we engaged very early in the stage. And in fact, around uh, February 2016, we start engaging with the public sector, the government, to understand exactly what this is all about and how digital can help to realize the outcomes expected. So uh, we've been given opportunity to attend many workshops and many brainstorming sessions, and, and we've done some BOCs. Later on, we presented back to Minister of Planning something we call it BOV, which is point of view from SAB. And later on, we decided, or it, it was a joint discussion to have uh, an agreement, which has been signed uh, with, uh, witnessed by uh, King Salman and Angela Merkel. And out of that, we came with a number of initiatives that we, we think it is important to be executed from our side. To, uh, to contribute and uh, speed up the, the digitization process in the country to enable number of industries and so on to help with, with this uh, overall transformation plan. So I think we have a good insights about what is going on there and we are contributing and we are looking forward to, for more contribution. And I understand SAP recently launched a new digital hub and cloud services platform in Saudi Arabia. Does that fit in part of the overall strategy with Saudi Arabia's transformation yes. program? Yes. In fact, that uh, we call digital hub. And that is part of the agreement that I just mentioned, where we committed to launch a digital hub with four components in it. One is uh, SAB products need to be hosted in the country. Uh, second, uh, to localize them, to make them available, respecting the regulation. If we talk about FSI, for example, we have SAMA to regulate, so we need to, to respect those kind of regulation and should be out of the box. So, so if banks doesn't need to go through customization and so on. Same for telco, same for other industries, and this is our commitment. And we consider localization, plus it is, it is speeding up things. It is more um, uh, uh, protection for the investment. Because if there are more regulations to come down the road, SAB will take the burden of making this development at no cost to anybody. Mm -hmm. And the third element of this investment or digital hub, we call it co-innovation. So we launched it co-innovation center in Riyadh, whereby we, we are open to discuss with the public sector government major problems that they think digital can help to resolve. Employment, for example, this kind of mega problem or big concern that important for our economy to, to diversify and move to the next step. Anything related to SMEs, for example, which is a big uh, discussion to, to enable SMEs, make them more uh, contributing, mm -hmm. something like this. The third element of this uh, investment, we call it um, uh, enabling the startups and, and developers in the market to build their own solutions. They have their own IB but they put them in a proven platform from SAB, so enable them to be part of the overall digitization process of, of let us say, the, the Fijian 2030. And, uh, and this all combined we call Digital Hub. It is live uh, out of Riyadh, and we have a number of customers already now running out of that uh, center. And speaking specifically about the banking and financial services industry itself, how high do you believe um, efforts in digital transformation should be on a, a bank or financial institution's agenda? Yeah, I think uh, digital is, is everywhere in all industries, but if we look into uh, certain industries, there are more pressing needs to digitize because of competition, because of uh, cross-border or cross-industry competition. You will see telco making a uh, solution for payment or remittances. You will see, uh, for example, uh, retailer, uh, they need uh, online service and they need uh, banks to come as a, a platform for payment things. So there are many challenges which uh, mandate on, on uh, banks and insurance companies to be more mm -hmm. digital. Uh, plus, you need to, to be more efficient in a, in a co competition environment. You need to be very efficient while 
you satisfy the customers. So it is a competition to keep the best customers or loyal and, and uh, with you. At the same time, you need to be efficient and cost optimized. Mm -hmm. And I know we've mentioned a couple of the pressing issues in the technology industry, such as cloud adoption and so on, and you also have issues in payments and so on and so forth. How, how have you at SAP helped banks address these challenges and address the needs of their customers? Yeah, I, I, we classified in SAP the challenges in banking sector in a specific in three categories. Something related to customer, customer engagement, making them enjoying the services with the bank, uh, it is going beyond, uh, I mean, the, the account management and so on. It is going beyond that. The the, the customer need to to be to be uh, provided with tools to to manage everything, all trades. He, he if he buy from internet, if he buy from store, from wherever he need this banking account to help him to to make all these. Uh, transactions, wherever there is a trading opportunity, there should be a bank behind you. So they need the satisfaction. They need to be satisfied with all these services. So there are new products that uh, customer needs. Uh, so there are, we, we classify them, as I said, under customer satisfaction, under operation optimization, because the banks need to be efficient and the processes and internal cost. And third one, under the new products. Because uh, today, if you see, for example, Amazon.com, if you see Souq.com in the, in the region, Middle East, if you see Noon, for example, these are platforms that people would like to interact with. This is a trading platform. And they need to go there with capabilities to pay mm -hmm. and get things done uh, on spot for them. So if, if banks are not integrated with those platforms, it, it becomes an issue for them. They, they will go back to different ways to, to, mm -hmm. to get the service. They might go to PayPal, for example, to, to get this payment happen, or Apple Pay, or a, a competitor for a bank. Mm -hmm. So the banks need to be agile enough to be able to follow, or not to follow, even to be a little bit proactive in their offering to their customers. Otherwise, there is a challenge to have a competition from outside the industry. Does the banking finance industry um, in general in the Middle East need to focus more on partnering with financial technology providers and looking to the future into digitization rather than trying to develop these products in-house themselves and, and deal with digital issues inside the bank? Yeah, I think there is a global trend when it comes to, to trading, for example, when it comes to, to retail side. So uh, this is a global, so, so you, you see a lot of online uh, type of, of, of offering a retail, which they need uh, banking support. But uh, I think the banks need to continue b building their products. They know their customers, but definitely they need a partner, a uh, technology partner, because we, we, always, um, uh, we always come with the best practice. We don't come to sell a piece of software to automate something, but we bring the best practice, which is uh, processes that been done somewhere else and in more advanced markets sometimes. So we try to be at very late. We do co-innovation with, with, uh, with the leader in many industries, including banking sector. So we co-innovate, try to build a future solutions. So I think it is a combination of both. Banks need to continue building products and services because they know the customers best, but they need a technology partner to enable and make this happen faster. Mm -hmm. So if you combine both, I think the banks would be in a position to compete and satisfy the customers. So regionally, I, you know, SAP are, are deeply integrated in the region. I saw that by 2020, SAP might be looking for a billion dollars in, in revenue by, by 2020. Um, how has SAP looking to partner with governments and the government initiatives and the various visions across, across the region? And what is SAP's role there, there within? Yeah, I think we just covered uh, KSA, uh, yeah. Fijian 2030. We are doing the same in other regions. Mm -hmm. We have a Fijian 2030 also in Kuwait, in Pakistan, and some other countries. So we, we are trying to be as close as possible from governments so that we understand their Fijian and their, their views and, and what is their strategic plan, five years or 10 years plan, and try to, to bring the digital as enabler for this. Uh, one, of, one of the major things here is that we believe that in Middle East specific, uh, big uh, growth and digital side is uh, driven by a government strategy. So, so the change we have seen in the last five years is really impacting everybody here. So because government used to look at technology as a side function that will come later, uh, today no. 
if you look into cases specific, in FIDN 2030, if you see the document, there is a pillar called digitization. So it becomes core in, in the planning phase, which help company like us to be able to talk to the business people, to the decision maker people, and then bring the technology at the right time from the beginning, because you don't need to reinvent the wheel and move with the with, uh, with legacy system or something. You need to bring the technology early enough so that we build the, the future together. Mm -hmm. And there are many best practices from other markets that can, can be a shortcut for many uh, governments in the, in the region here. And then for the financial services industry, a similar question, you know, what, what is SAP looking to do for the financial services industry in the region and what do you see the trends are for the financial services industry? Yeah, in the financial industry, I think we, our strategy is mainly driven from the feedback we are getting from banks and, and other insurance company, other FSI partners. Their major three challenges, as I said earlier, how to make the customer happy and satisfied and stay and, and continue uh, uh, with, with that particular and with that particular bank. So this is a big fight or big competition there. As I said earlier, it is not only between the banks, but be, between the banks and Telco, between the banks and technology provider, Apple, Samsung, and others. So they have a lot of competition and they would like to keep the customer and making all kind of money, uh, let us say, services with the bank. Mm -hmm. So this is one. So our strategy to help banks to engage better with customers. So engagement with the customer, this is one. And this is a feedback we are getting and we are tailoring our resources in the region, bringing the solution we have in this domain to, to help. The other area of challenge is the internal matters, which is optimization. How to provide this efficient, how to provide this kind of service, but with being efficient, you have to be efficient because you have a you have a PNL at the end of the day, you are a business company at the end of the day. So internal, let us say, efficiency in terms of resources, whether it's HR, finance resources, and so, so many other aspects. And the third element, as I said earlier, uh, how to be agile and fast to, to both products in the market, to compete, how you can interact faster with a new trend in the market. Uh, online, for example, retail becomes uh, uh, something serious now. So the banks need to be connected. They need to be integrated so that people can, can leverage uh, the existing banking systems and services to make those uh, trading. And if you, com if you put it all together, we provide solutions to end-to-end -end from, from all, all angles here. And the, the fourth element, which is important, is insights of the business. You need to have insight. You have to make uh, a system that support decisions within the bank so that they can make a decision faster and more accurate. And that is the analytics which come on top and provide you with big data, the right analysis, which you will build your next and predict your next move as, as a bank or next type of product for, for your, your, your own customer. So it is customer operation and the new products. So just, I mean, you mentioned it there briefly as well. I'd just like to get your thoughts on this. In the face of products such as Apple Pay and, and Google Pay, Samsung Pay, and Alipay, can the banking and finance industry continue to compete with, with those products? Are they, are they able to be agile enough? And what do you think SAP can do to help in that regard? Yeah, I think uh, uh, there are so many other payment mm. mechanisms, but uh, the bank remains the the the... I mean, the source here, the, the, the bank still hosts the account for the customers. And if the customer has a mechanism to pay wherever he, he goes, whether it is a hotel or online retail things or paying for services, and he's still able to do it, I think the bank is still in a strong position. Mm -hmm. If we uh, see it on the Casey uh, uh, perspective, we have seen, for example, as I mentioned, uh, probably earlier, uh, we see STC Bay. It is a telco. They are coming with STC Bay. It's a new service, which they are promoting now. But also, uh, there is a Meda Bay, which is coming from the banking sector, which is a com competition here. So I think competition will be there. But uh, the one who is more agile, able to provide more services, uh, he is going to, to, to have the market share major market share, but definitely the competition is open now because technology enables everybody to be 
to, to go cross border or cross industry and able to offer something to in, in, in other industry. And speaking as we are on the sidelines of Jitex 2018 here, mm -hmm. why don't you talk a little bit about what SAP is, is showing here at Jitex and what we can expect from the company in the near future? Yeah, in Jitex we have, uh, we, we have uh, many showcases and we are trying to help customers in different uh, different industries to uh, reimagine their future or their next step because if you are able to look at it next year the year after and you are able to envision that you 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 are in a good position to start the investment and to expand your business and also predict the competition as well. So we have showcases in multiple industries. In, in uh, automotive industry, we have something called smart car, which we show you how to utilize uh, resources of a car from, from different angles. It can be a passenger car, it can be a transportation car, it can be so many other things, it is the same car. And, and in all environment or use cases, it is doing it at the best. So you enjoy it if you are a driver or if you are just a passenger, you enjoyed it. When it is a logistical car where, because it is integrated with all ecosystem, with inventory, with lightning system, with traffic system. So we are showing how technology can enable the resources to be utilized better. We are also showing uh, how to um, leverage a new technology like uh, artificial intelligence, blockchain, and machine learning in different industry and different applications. So with, together with our partners, we have demonstrated too many showcases, too many scenarios, and we are promoting this to, to customers to upgrade their business applications to the next level. So uh, Jitex is, um, is a very exciting event. Mm -hmm. Uh, this year as the previous year as well. And there are more uh, more interest in the new cases. Customers now is more uh, mature to look into new cases that will help their business. So they are looking ahead and trying to explore how technology can help. And the other uh, area that we are trying to demonstrate this year is the cloud and how to uh, leverage the cloud, especially for uh, mid-sized companies, small companies, how the cost optimization for them is going to impact them and they can adopt latest technology with an affordable, let us say, investment range. So that is something we are also demonstrating here. And the third area, we are demonstrating to our customer our capabilities in the region, how we are able to help small customer, medium and large customers to adopt this technology. Because sometimes we like it, but it might be a bit of challenge to make the organization accepting all this amount of technology and digesting this kind of technology. So we have a number of sessions and uh, uh, methodology we are trying to discuss with our customers to help the adoption of technologies. Overall, the region is growing very, uh, very uh, good. Mm -hmm. And it is among the best uh, region for SAB when it comes to the growth. Right, Mr. al Faifi, thank you very much for your time. And that concludes our latest edition of our leadership series. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.